What is up, you guys? It's Dakota T. Jones. We are coming back live for the premiere of season three of Millennial Hollywood. We are so excited. We have two very special guests, so make sure you don't go too far. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. We are so excited to be back for the season premiere of season three. We are so excited to have two wonderful guests with me. We have Leo Camacho and Sarah Sterling. Thank you Hello. so much for joining me. Thanks, oh, thanks for, having for having us, man. You guys are like power duo. And so <laughs> I thought bit. I thought I was only going to get one of you on the show, but now I get both of you. So we that's, get the, that's what the duo. We get just a surprise split. bonus, Leo. Yeah. Right. It's like this bonus. I just pop out of her bag sometimes. <laughs> just, yeah, it's like yeah. a Mary Poppins. She just like popped bag. out of her her little uh, yeah. purse today. Well. <laughs> well, where can everyone find you guys on social media? Um, I'm Sarah Sterling underscore on Twitter. I'm Sarah G Sterling on Instagram. And I'm uh, at Mr. Leo Zombie on Instagram and at Leo Zombie on Twitter without the Mister. You can find Much both more. of us on Thingamavlogs on YouTube. Yes, which I'm excited to ask you guys yeah. about. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. Um, so you guys are like the Disney fanatics that we all are at heart. Some mm. people like hide it for some reason. I don't understand why. It's like people are trying to push through that. I feel like it's like a it's um like a remnant of that nerd barrier where uh -huh. it was like not cool yeah. to be a nerd, but like it's more mainstream than anything else now. Yeah. And uh, and there's still that reservation for no reason. But but sometimes we talk about this. Hmm. And we forget that the majority of the population right. isn't as in depthly, you know, into fandom as we are. We, it's just like you know, we're in our own little bubble of, of. Well, yeah. The thing about Disney is that like everybody has a connection to Disney. Right. Like right. you, there's no one who hasn't like grown up watching at least a Disney movie. But like, I think it's a type of thing in nerd culture that people might not know there is like a fan community mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. a part of, mm -hmm. and so they just like go on living their lives right. just like enjoying <laughs> Disney animation but like not kind of like right. expressing it maybe yeah. as much as they would if they knew where there are all, all these people out there. Yeah, and I feel like it still has a little bit of a stigma like uh, I mean in my case um it's just it's sort of unnecessary but like that it's for kids. Mm, um right. but you know you know it's it's funny that it's perceived that way. Obviously, it's cartoons and it's about like morals and stories and things like right. that. You know, like put this on so that I don't have to worry about you for the next hour. Yeah. You know, um, but but you know, it's created by extremely talented, uh, arguably the most talented people in their respective fields mm -hmm. to put together these productions that are just you know, it just it, it, the, the talent that goes into these things, the, the, the level <laughs> of work. I'm overwhelmed because, <laughs> That's so because it blows my mind. Like mm -hmm. the amount of work and the amount of detail and the amount of like. Even if you look at it from a business standpoint, marketing and secondary branding that goes into each film is just phenomenal, right? Yeah. And that to me is a very adult concept. See, exactly. And I know that like, even if it does come back, like I love like pure fun and like Disney is pure fun. Like you don't have to worry about, I don't know sometimes I get caught up like, oh, okay, like what are they trying to promote here? What are they? Like it's just mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. fun and like comes from a good place yeah. mm -hmm. and everyone loves each other and it's just... I don't know, it's so exciting. The core so, of it, right? Right, yeah. the core of it. But on the outside of it, you're so right. It's so overwhelming how amazing that these people are who create these right. films. And I think they are, like, the best of the best. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I, I have always been, like, a Disney kid growing up, like, hardcore fan. And then as I, like, got older, I, like, moved out to California by myself, and I had other things to worry about. And I, I didn't, like, connect to it as much. And then recently, I just got back from Disney World, and I'm, like... 110% into it again. Yeah, I'm like freaking that's out. That's all it takes. Right? I just like started doing like the pin trading and stuff and I'm like all into it. Um, but okay, so let's start at the very beginning. Like what was your like first experience? Um, like like what, what cemented us What was your first this? Disney memory, I guess? Okay. I know there's probably memories before that, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, my, I mean, there's a lot of things that I experienced that I can't remember. Right. I always talk about how my mom bought herself an annual pass to Disneyland before I was like two because I could get in for free yeah. under two and she would just take me while my sisters were in elementary school so like I don't remember that but it Aww. happened um and other than that like I watched Lion King and Pinocchio every single day mm -hmm. after preschool it was Rob Robin Hood <laughs> and Jungle Book for me yeah, yeah. so I mean yeah. that's like what I remember but I mean, there's a lot. That I feel happened. like I, I just imagine like your memory f like starting to like hazily fade in from like your two year old <laughs> self, and you're just at Disneyland all right? of a sudden. Like your first right. coherent memories are I just know, at it's Disney. Crazy. So that's where you, that's the park you went to, like Disneyland. That's yeah, because I've always yeah. lived in here same. in LA. Okay. And you too. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So my first experience was 
Walt Disney World because mm. like, I live in Missouri or I did live in Missouri and not so too far. Yeah. we you know like would take like a day trip not yeah. a day would take like 24 hours sure, to get there. Sure. but like we would go down there and we would do all the parks and um, just from revisiting them now it's so insane how much it's changed and how much it's evolved and like the more cool things that have gone in there now and like they're coming out with like obviously the Star Wars land which mm-hmm. they are yeah. two here in California yeah both right? of them are getting yeah. it and then they have like this Toy Story land that's apparently coming out yeah. which is going to be awesome but yeah. they just are keep they, they keep constantly yeah, re evolving yeah. themselves, yeah. What as a as a like Disney World kid, what was it like like how do you, how do you feel about Disneyland? <laughs> you know, that's a good question because a lot of people ask me that and it's weird because I, I feel like a lot of people are like, Oh, well Disney World's way better. You mm-hmm. know. I love both of them. Yeah. I mean obviously Disney World is I guess more grand, like they've got sure. four different lands, you know. Yeah. Um and it seems bigger and, and stuff, but like they really went all out on both. And like isn't Disneyland the original? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like I don't know why, but when I go to Disneyland, it obviously reminds me of Magic Kingdom. But like, right, it's different. And then not only that, but then like Disney's California Adventure is kind of almost like Hollywood, Hollywood Studios, Studios a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But I love how everything's it, everything's different. So it's almost like whenever I go to Disneyland, it's like, oh, these are just different lands. Like it's right. not it's Disneyland not is like sort comparable. of like the best the best hits, right? Like you get a little bit of everything yeah. at Disney World. Of course, you get far less, but um, there's well, a different sense. Well, it depends what you consider as less. Because well, I mean, Disneyland I, and Disney California less. Adventure have more attractions combined than the four parks. Sure, sure. World. But it's like really? less but, yeah. to experience. Like but you don't yeah, get, you fewer don't get... shows, fewer restaurants, mm-hmm. less uh, immersive. Resorts, resorts. Yeah, you don't yeah, get any yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, I notice like whenever I, um, I like obviously have the app, and when you scroll in on a park um, in Florida, there might be like at Hollywood Studios. I think there's like eleven or nine things to do or right. something and then whenever i scroll in on like california adventure it's like <laughs> there's a billion <laughs> they yeah. just pop up they like cram everything yeah. into yeah. Like, these two parks that they spread across the four parks so i think they really have done a great job i don't think that i'm like oh i love one over the other right i think it's because i live in california now it's more fun to go far away to like obviously like orlando it's, to a, it's a vacation it yeah right? and that's how we view it like we think disney world is a much more uh you know it's a it's a it's a destination spot for like tourism Mm -hmm. and therefore has a little bit more of a transient population right like they're in they're out they stay they leave and then you know they don't come back for three years disneyland is the same people there every weekend yeah so there's a much (laughs) much more of a community focused uh feeling there yeah like you might run into the same people more often because you might know definitely (laughs) that's so cool i know that the only thing that i was a little bit disappointed when i went to disneyland was the castle was small oh it's tiny but because i and then it started making me think, wow, I, it took, I was like, it's been a long time since I've been to Disney World. Is that how little the Disney World wanted? No. Was I just small and just thought it was big? <laughs> no. But no, like, there is a yeah. noticeable size difference, right. but it's still awesome. And like, yeah, it's definitely the smallest one. So yeah. I, I didn't know you were about giant castles. I didn't know that that summed you up, you know? <laughs> Whatever, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, okay, so um, let's talk about, like, what was the experience like when you first, like, remembered uh, the yeah. park? Maybe yeah. for you since she went when she was two. I mean, yeah. I mean, I have, it's like a, a series of memories. My family yeah. would go all the time, but I, I can't like distinguish one trip from another, but there are distinct moments. Um, Sarah knows that my favorite thing uh, at Disneyland is um, in Tomorrowland, uh, what's it called, Star Trader? Yeah, um, Star Trader, the there's, store. There's is, is a store oh, right yeah. outside of Star Tours. Mm-hmm. It's actually the exit, the gift shop as you exit. And outside of it, there's a neon Mickey Mouse that like he flashes across like he's floating like in space. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, it's pink and blue. And and I remember being a kid walking by that as the sun was setting and like that moment was really impactful. So that spot at Disneyland while the sun is setting, looking at that neon Mickey on top of that store in that sort of, uh, you know, uh, the ambient Tomorrowland vibes, yeah. it really resonates with me. But the one distinct memory I have is the sheriff of Nottingham trying to fake steal my grandma's purse. Oh my God. Yeah, and well, there's actually a photo of this, which is so crazy, because I didn't know this until <laughs> years later. Um, he was like pretending to steal it, you know? Because he's taking her money. Right. But as a kid, I didn't know that that wasn't real. Yeah, and so I was like, Dad, he's, he's, stealing, he's stealing grandma's <laughs> purse. We gotta stop him. And my dad's like, yeah, we should stop him, right? And I'm like, yeah, like, don't egg me on. This is real for me. And I remember like getting like visibly upset, and my dad you know, yanks it back from him. I'm like... Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we got that back because he, he's, he's bad. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. And grandma can't afford to lose her purse right now. <laughs> yeah. That but, is hilarious. But that was like the level of immersion yeah. that I experienced Disneyland at. And that's what sort of set the tone for me. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that's incredible. I, what like what do you think happens to those characters that they kind of retire as, as far as like 
There's not oh. Sheriff Nottingham like walking around anymore. What happened, Sarah? Tell him. Well, why are you like? Because you're like an expert on this sort of sure, thing. Sure. I, well, I mean, it's there's nothing really like to it other than like if stuff isn't popular. Yeah, Robin Hood is not exactly. See, know, I right. think if if something like that would come out now, right. like people would be like freaking uh, out. But well, they did it would do... be popular now because it's like a the special nostalgic event, right? Right. right? Um, like the Disney Afternoon stuff that they're doing right the, now. Mm-hmm. They used to do for like limited weeks at a time something it was called limited time magic um long lost friends week Aww. was like a thing that they would do like it was not that long ago like 2013 2012 mm-hmm. um where like they used to just have like this area where they would set up different <laughs> random old characters and they did have like all the robin hood ones come out Aww. and like the three fairies from sleeping beauty it's like the randos and like <laughs> esmeralda and like frollo and just like all these weird ones that you don't usually see and it was like a huge Deal at I Disneyland. Yeah, do that again. What's crazy is Disney World has a lot of characters that come a out lot. that Disneyland doesn't. Yeah, and like a lot of the international parks also have like really weird characters that we don't get. Yeah, we so saw really some weird like, ones in Shanghai. Yeah, wait, who do we see in? Sa- well, first Shanghai? of all, the Aristocats everywhere. Really? Yeah. We didn't. No see them. Yes, we did. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, That's we did. Crazy. But they like in Tokyo, they have Prince Eric and his dog Max. Max, yeah. Which is like. What? That's weird. Super weird. That's um, really weird. Character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think Max. Like, the dog, oh, okay. the big shaggy dog. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's like, like a weird character right. to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's uh it's it, like I've heard I don't know for sure like how this has worked out, but I know mm-hmm. that well I think I know that each park gets to kind of decide mm-hmm. like and and pay for <laughs> certain characters sense. that they like want, which is why like for example Disneyland has Moana and Disney World doesn't right yeah. now. So it's just like the parks individually choose. That's but I mean, want. but I mean, to be fair, like let's say they did, let's say they kept the character like Don Carnage out at the parks. Who the heck knows who Don Carnage is, right? You can't like, have him without like having right, and then you need so yeah, so you need to characters. have Baloo and you need to have Kit. Yeah. And you have to have like the whole Tailspin crew, right? And Tailspin hasn't been on the air for like twenty years or whatever it is, more than actually more than that uh, and and, uh, and so it would just not make sense to yeah. have them out there and Ro- like Robin Hood for example he's not exactly you know prancing around because Robin Hood hasn't had anything relevant happen for it in a yeah. long time right. even even Mickey Mouse if you think about it like he only recently got a new set of cartoons yes yeah. he's present in like the you know Disney Junior and stuff like that but like only a certain audiences will like consider them a relevant character and right. so they have to kind of keep all of that in mind yeah I will say that Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World has a ton of characters that maybe I didn't expect. Like, I was so excited, like, Tarzan was there. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. and Baloo. Uh, yeah, sometimes Baloo it's thematically the appropriate. King, King Louie Louis and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of And, of course, it, it was, like, appropriate for there because it's all, like, jungle yeah. and stuff, which was really cool. The thing about, like, Baloo, he's such an interesting character to think about because, like, up until this recent Jungle Book movie, which now it doesn't even look like that, like, what was you know, what was Baloo in. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, Bare Necessities, they use that in like all their marketing, so you know, you know who Baloo is. Right. Right, but you may not know who Ka is, like kids might not know who Ka is. Yeah. yeah. So it's just kind of a, because Jungle Book is a dated movie and I don't feel like yeah. a lot of kids watch that one. Those anymore. are all the classics that I watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. excited about. Um, so let's talk about which, which park out of all of them is your favorite. Um, I don't think anything could replace Disneyland, Disneyland. for me. Okay. But I mean, these days I do probably enjoy California Adventure more. Mm-hmm. It's just so chill. It's really neat. That's where we go <laughs> when Disneyland is too crowded. Which is like often. That's why I say like well, yeah. these days. Yeah. Um, but Disneyland um, is the original. It, there's so much incredible history. history to it. It's the only park that Walt Disney saw with his own eyes and like mm-hmm. touched with his own hands. Wait, and, is like, it seriously? Like that's the only yeah, one? Yeah. Like he, he was planning Disney World and Epcot specifically before he died, but like he has not set foot in any other park except wow. for Disneyland. Some so say like, he's still walking the park today. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's just like, that is why like Disneyland is the ultimate. Mm-hmm. Um, so even if like there are parks that are like more exciting to me in the moment, like Disneyland is like yeah, it's, the it's true It's rooted love. the it's deepest like in Disney, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know that that's the only park you've been to. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Um, so I do want to ask, I, we have a photo of one of your favorite eateries that I'd love to bring up. Oh, yeah. um, so <laughs> tell us what that is. I, I, Leo doesn't know what I sent yeah, you. Yeah, it's yeah. the Cozy oh, Cones. The cozy cone. <laughs> These are in DCA, Disney California Adventure. Sorry, I shouldn't use yeah, the we, we use the slang. So these were added um, with the addition of Cars Land, mm-hmm. which opened in 2012. Um, it is the quick service location for 
Cars Land. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, Flo's V8 Cafe is also quick service dining, but it's more sit down. This, this is, is more stand-up. grab and go. Mm-hmm. Each cone has a different offering. Really? Yeah. So one cone, and they're all like cone puns. So there's ice cream cones, uh, um, pop cone, popcorn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, chili, chili cones. Cone Chili con queso. Or queso. Yeah, oh, which that's is cool. like chili and bread cones, which is our favorite, I think. Yeah. Um, and then they also have, like, one has just drinks and one has, like, churro bites. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're waiting in separate lines. Yeah. 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 That's, so, that's funny. But that's, like, the whole thing is, like, fill her up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, usually, like, if it's a hot day, like, the ice cream cone line is super long, but then we're like, we can want chili. It's great. And, like, no one's getting chili on a hot day. And you're like, there we go. Yeah, the chili cones are my absolute <laughs> favorite good. thing because it's, like, it's literally a bread cone, and uh-huh. then they put chili and cheese and Fritos in it. Fritos. And they oh also gosh. do, like, a mac and cheese one, oh and then they gosh. also do a, a chicken verde one. Wow. Yeah. Um, so they like vary it up, but I just love that you like eat it and then you can eat the bread cone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah which is my least <laughs> favorite awesome. part, by the way. I love eating the I, bread I, cone. Yeah, I like giving it to you. <laughs> That's crazy because I pass this all the time, but I all, I always thought it was just popcorn in each one. No. Or I thought maybe popcorn was in oh, one, no, and then no. the other ones were just nothing. See, that's the cool thing about Disneyland, and Disney in general, obviously, it, it's just that in every nook and cranny, there is a detail that you didn't know, mm-hmm. right? And And you know, that's why we make videos about it, because mm-hmm. it's, there's so much to explore, and when people are traveling to these destinations, they want to try not to miss you know, as many details mm-hmm. as possible. So so things like that, like, oh, where could I eat? Or what is what are these things? What do they have to offer? Instead of, you know, waiting in each line and seeing, you know, right. you could just kind of like look it up and have a preconceived concept. Yeah, and I love that you guys, I mean, you guys have a large following and I love how you're able to kind of give the, the information because a lot of people don't have the resources or they don't live close by the parks right, to right, go all right, the time. Right, right. So mm-hmm. they have like maybe one day to experience each exactly. park. And so they want to get the most out of it. So I think it's really cool that you guys, that you guys do that. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about pin trading because this is something I just recently started. Like, you're talking to the queen right here. Okay. Well, first of all, what like you were in Disney World and you decided when you were there to start pin trading, or like before you went, you were like, I'm gonna pin trade on this. Well, trip. so I did ran- randomly just like came across some pins and like it's funny because they have a bunch of stuff outside of Disney that's like those weird stores that are all the same. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, the ones like on the street. Like downtown Disney. No, not even that. Like the ones in Orlando, they just in have Orlando, like a bunch of... In Orlando, they have of... like weird just like oh, oh, outlet, yeah, 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 yeah. like pop-ups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I know so I, I saw some there that were like, you know, a couple dollars and I was like, oh, cool. And then after that, like it started to spread and then now like at Disneyland, I'm like getting them and everything. So it started from like some of the discount stores and then I started going for the, the mm-hmm. full mm-hmm. price. <laughs> I feel um, you. Yeah. It's like a really... It's like a lot to explain. So I'm kind of like, what do you want to know? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, I mean, like, it's like a lot. To like, it. which ones do you mostly collect? Okay, you're right. So I'm, I, yeah, I am a pin trader. I've been yeah, pin there, trading there are, there are levels to since this. 2011. Yeah. When I was a, when I was a cast member, I started pin trading because I was cool. like, I get a discount. I should start doing it now. Um, I collect uh, Dumbo mm. and Peter Pan and Pixar, but specifically like Wally, Toy Story, and Up, and um, Elliot the dragon from Pete's Dragon mm. and Bongo the bear from Fun and Fancy Free. Those, Those are, are like very specific. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how, how many months go by before you see like like Bongo? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I don't pin trade like a lot anymore. I used to be like one of those people that you might see at Disneyland where like they like set up camp at like tables in Frontierland and like have all their books out and like everyone's like looking at each other's books and trading. Like I used to be that. That's and, so fun. Uh, it's just like hard to bring all my pins all the time. I would like to keep doing it. It's just like, so I don't really trade that often anymore and mm. I'm not one to really buy. I like enjoy trading up and like trading to find things. So like I'll buy stuff sometimes, but anyway. Um, yeah. No, no. I was, uh, oh, I what you. about, do you guys like ever wait in those lines to get like those exclusive pins? Yeah, um, so. We have a friend who yeah. in the 60th at, D- at Disneyland anniversary, they were releasing like one a month and he like uh, waited overnight for every single one. Oh my one. gosh. Um, I'm not really about that. I don't, I've never waited overnight for a pin mm-hmm. yeah. just cause I'm like, eh, Neither have I. I'll trade for but it. But I don't collect pins, oh, but people don't. buy pins for me well, right. cool. and it's always, it's always Darkwing Duck, this is one of my favorite characters, Dodger <laughs> Dog, is one of my favorite characters, Prince Eric, Oh, that's for cool, obvious yeah. reasons. And then um, uh, Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. Yeah, Leo's oh, whole collection is just awesome. like, these are pins that people have given, yeah, have give, given me, which is give like me pins. cool in a different way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I like it because they're, yeah. they're more meaningful that way. Because right, to me, the, the concept is just there's so many pins. It's overwhelming. Yeah. Where do I start now? So each pin that I have comes from like an individual mm-hmm. who picked it out because they knew that, oh, you know, like I love Dodger Dog. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so they 
you know, they, they find that one, like, oh, I found this pin at this little outlet, and I thought, yeah, cool, awesome, you know, now yeah. it's meaningful. Right. Instead of me going out and going, all right, let me buy the three Dodger pins that exist, you know? Yeah, right. yeah. That's yeah. what I mean, we're, like, trading <clears throat> up is, like, part right. of the fun. And you're, right. like, I, like, I remember how I got every pin, you know? Like, I remember yeah. kind of, like, what yeah, yeah, I traded course. for that pin, you know? That's like, cool. it's really fun. The journey is fun. That's really cool. Yeah, it is fun. That's why I've, like, I've always been, like, oh, that seems expensive. I'm just going to, like, it is. not. <laughs> and, then, and then I started doing it, and I was, like, this is so much fun. But yeah. right now, I, I am, like, very simple. I only collect, like, the goofy pins because yeah. oh, he's cool. my favorite character. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, what is your favorite character from the Fantastic Five? Uh, goofy. Goofy? Yeah. We actually had a week about this, remember? Yeah, we didn't pick our favorites, No, though. but I got my favorite. I got Goofy. It's probably just Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. He's iconic. Yeah. What can you do? He's he's the main guy. He's the guy. <laughs> he's the yeah, big goofy, cheese. Goofy is definitely in, like, my top five characters, though. What's funny, and it might be a good segue for you, is I actually, like, kind of don't like Goofy. What? Which is funny because I love a Goofy movie. Right. It's my favorite Disney movie. That's my favorite Disney movie. Oh my god. I love it so <laughs> much. See, remember I was talking about this? When you when two people have a Disney, like, yeah. favorite Disney movie is Goofy movie, you have like this weird like, oh my god. Right. right. Yeah. So yeah. like, I just, I love a Goofy movie, but like, otherwise don't generally really enjoy Goofy. I love really? him. I love yeah. him. Super weird. He's my favorite. Him. Like, all time favorite mm -hmm. character of all time. I mean, but, Roger Rabbit seems to think so too. So. Right. Yeah. Let's actually show that photo we have a photo of like a goofy movie and then we also have um let's see oh there, there we is. go so this goofy. is like my favorite movie of all time yeah and then the next photo we have of you guys um it was a d23 right yeah. you guys yeah. were yeah. dressed up in the costume how did you make this costume so, of lester i mean i didn't make him okay, okay i can't take credit i had him made for d23 i had this idea i think i think it just popped up in my time hop mm -hmm. like August of 2016, like I posted on Facebook, like anyone know a mascot costume like maker? So it was like a year in the making. Um, and I had the, I was like, I want to do Lester just because like, who's done that. And then right. Leo was like, oh, if you're really going to do it, I'll do Max with you. Yeah. And, and so I made he, the, the Lester's, Lester's possum yeah, part cat. That's yeah. so Lester's cool. Possum it was a big hit. At D23. Yeah. <laughs> it was really hard to wear. <laughs> I bet. It's a good, like, kudos to people who do this for a living, because I only lasted, like, two and a half hours in it. And then you had to Which, by the way, is substantial, that considering is that, like, you know, you know, people that do characters, uh, the, you know, the cast members that are working that, yeah. it's, like, the sets are 30 on, 30 off, and she went, like, two hours straight Great, in yeah. it. So like that's that's insane. Yeah. But yeah, I've noticed that they do like thirty minutes. And they're like, oh, Goofy's got to go call Max. Yeah. And I'm like, how many times does he need to call Max? Like, <laughs> Max, come on. Listen, he's Max a very overprotective a parent. <laughs> right. So like, whenever they do that, I'm I'm wondering like, do they just kind of like as they go off, they just kind of high five the next guy as he goes out? I mean, pretty much. What do you mean? There's only one Goofy. That's true. Well, they, they <laughs> high five the next guy who's gonna watch the door so that in thirty minutes <laughs> they can be rested. Right. That's right. Because yeah. I'm like thirty minutes on, thirty minutes off. Right when they go, someone else is coming yeah. back. It's a very difficult thing to discuss when you're trying to uphold yeah. the, uh, the magic of it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Because exactly. I try not to think about it, but sometimes I'm like, hmm. Right. Character integrity, man. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, okay, you guys have been to the Shanghai Park, which yes. is so cool. Did That opened somewhat recently, right? June of last year. Okay. Yeah. So, whenever you decided to go were you just like let's just go to shanghai like did you just go specifically for that or what well, no no, no. It, was... it was a very like um like i never would have chosen yeah, shanghai to yeah, be my same. first international park it actually wasn't leo's first time and he had been to yeah, paris i've been to paris before. oh cool um but i'll let leo explain why we went yeah because so, <laughs> so, it's all about him yeah <laughs> so uh disney had contacted me uh, a couple years ago now two years ago um to be in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. No way. Yeah, yeah. So, so I went to Australia. I filmed the, the, the an, movie. An extra. Yeah. yeah, I was like a featured extra. The oh DVD gosh. crew followed me around. Uh, we got this whole crazy experience with like Bruckheimer, all this stuff. Uh, I met Johnny Depp and hung out with him. Oh and my it, gosh. it was really cool. It was wow. a really magical experience um, yeah. for us, um, especially because we got treated like. You know the cast. He says know? us. He's not referring to me. I was oh not no, there. no no not us. It was me. The other influencers yeah. that got chosen. It was me, not me. and four other influ <laughs> digital influencers. I'm like, yeah, I was not we, I hate that. I hate that word, but that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. It was the first time I heard it actually. Um, and yeah, so it was me. It was like uh, two beauty gurus. I was like, and two comedians. Mm -hmm. And um, but I was like the Disney guy. Um, so I got like this whole thing. We met, uh, you know, custom fitted by the designer of Jack Sparrow, like Penny Rose, Academy Award winning, blah blah blah. So it was amazing. Two years go by, nothing, and then. The movie's about to release, and then now it's all this content that we had sort of curated over, 
that time, mm -hmm. uh, we were finally going to be allowed to start releasing and talk about the fact that we were in the movie. I mean, I had to keep this a secret for two years. Oh, I couldn't even. Yeah. And so part of the promotion, they decided, we had no idea that this was going to happen, was they sent us to the world premiere in Shanghai. Oh, my god! To walk the red carpet of the first screening of the movie. And uh, in the fan, so, so out there, Pirates of the Caribbean is a really big deal. I mean, it's bigger than Star Wars out in really? China. They don't even know what Star Wars is. They don't even know what Star Wars is. Oh. It's like not important to them. But, yeah. but wow. Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> half of Shanghai Disney is Pirates Land. They really? have a Pirates yeah. Land. They don't have die. Adventure Land. Everything is Pirates. As a matter of fact, they replaced kind of. Clayton and Tarzan with Pirates. Like, really? it's such yeah, a big deal. Great. Treasure, Pirates, like, Cursed Gold, that's their jam. Our friend was like, Pirates to them is like Cowboys to, like, the U.S. Wow. Yeah, but like, the U.S. in like the 50s. Right. You right, know, yeah. when cowboys were everything. Right. Um, so anyway, so we went out there and then, you know, it was a multi-day experience. We went out there for, and we took an extra two days on Yeah, I was like, as soon as they were like, we want to take you to Shanghai, I was right. like, okay, we need to like extend our right. trip because like I'm not going to go and like get only one right. day in the park and right. then like do the premiere and go home. Right. Like I need to like So we had like a day days. as <laughs> tourists where we, we just went before Disney got there. Yeah. And then Disney got there and then we got like that experience, which was yeah. crazy, wow. you know. So uh, yeah, we, we 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 spent quite a bit of time there, and and it was it was I mean awesome, amazing, one of a one of a kind, once a lifetime experience. Yeah, you know, that's so. amazing. Actually, Pirates of the Caribbean is like my favorite series. Oh really? It's like honestly, I live for Pirates of yeah, the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm a I'm a really really big fan. Yeah, and like yeah. whenever I went to the the ride in Florida, like it was more involved, and then like the one at Disneyland and or no no the one at Disneyland is more, is more involved. It's longer. And then the mm -hmm. other one is like short, and I was it's like, short. what is going on? But yeah. I'm guessing what like you said, the other one uh, in Shanghai. Shanghai it's not is the same game. It's really not even the same insane. sport. Insane. Yeah. Is it's, there it's, multiple rides? No. No, they have a they pirate have a show, show okay. that's really funny, a but it's in show. Mandarin. Um, Which doesn't matter, <laughs> by the way. It makes it better, in um, my opinion. And then, like, the, they're like, they're like whole like shops and eatery section for pirates is like insane. Mm -hmm. Like, but Barbosa the, has his own restaurant. Pirates of the Caribbean no ride there is the, the, the craziest attraction I've ever been on in my Listen, life. Listen, dude. Like, you think you've been on oh, good oh rides gosh. until you've been on pirates, and you're it's just like, nothing oh. like. It's nothing like the ones. In the it's United nothing States. like That's anything. Crazy. That's the point. It's like we're talking like two hundred foot LED screens that fully immerse you underwater and give you the sensation of motion. Wow. Even yeah. though it's not moving. It's also it's like a hundred percent based on the movies. Yeah. That's it's, it's it's based it's between two and three pirates two and three. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. It's Davy wild. Jones is like my all time favorite villain. Yeah, I love and Davy so, Jones. I don't want to spoil it if you guys haven't seen the last movie, but like. Who are you been if you haven't seen it? Right, exactly. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like that ending thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, please be another one. You know, please have another movie so we can like <laughs> relive all of that, yeah. which was awesome. Yeah, um, and, they, and they have like a eight foot Davy Jones animatronic on the right. No ride way. With like crazy. full tentacles, That's articulated. Too cool. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. amazing. Okay, well, I gotta go there. Um, <laughs> definitely. Um, so, does anyone speak English or is it. Like, are there cast members who do speak English, or...? Yeah, um, it was, like, hit or miss. Like, most of them could communicate, but there were a few times where I had to find, like, a guest relations cast member specifically. Like, I remember there was a day that I went alone. Mm -hmm. Leo wanted to see actual Shanghai, and I just wanted to stay yeah. in the parks. <laughs> and I was, like, me. trying to figure out... I, it was raining, and I was like, will the parade still run if it's raining, was my question. I asked, like, Which a few a, yeah. cast members, and they were like... I don't That's know not as saying. simple as where's the bathroom. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, has this person, so I had to like find a, like a kind of like a manager. Yeah. I, th I think someone told us all the managers speak English, yeah. maybe. Um, Kylo Ren and Spider-Man don't speak they English. They do not speak English. <gasps> but all all the other characters who talk All the speak princesses English. do. And they yeah. speak English? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So whenever they go they're, through they're casting, American. they must be like. I think they just oh, come yeah. from here. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, Kylo Ren and Spider-Man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Which so is just crazy. Like, uh, yeah. Kylo Ren like, castigating ah. you in Mandarin yeah. is intimidating as <laughs> hell. Like, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Sorry. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, wow, that I, that seems like, since it's like the newer park, I'm sure that they have more technology. So whenever they were building it, they obviously had... It's implemented, yeah. Right. So, um, But I love how they seem like they're doing that slowly through each park. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like adding things, which is really yeah. cool. But that seems like that park is out of this world. It's, like, a, it's, yeah, it's a future park, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's weird because like when you watch Disney trying to retrofit this kind of technology, you get a lot of sort of backlash from the community, like the Max Pass, stuff like that. Oh, I don't know what, what, I know what you said a second ago. It's fine. <laughs> you just weren't paying attention. <laughs> no, um, it's just like. No, I'm saying like, like, like how Shanghai is built with that technology sort of innately as mm -hmm. part of its foundation, where mm -hmm. Disneyland is trying to retrofit new technology to fit like 1950s technology, yeah, right. essentially. Definitely. 
Yeah, for sure. I do want to show the photo of the parade, though, because oh, yeah. this is your favorite parade, and this is the one that's coming back? Yes. Yeah. It's really? Okay, back cool. back in 2018. That is exciting. So, so I, a while. I just went to the one where they had, like, the electrical parade. The old one. The old one. Sorry, so that's man. done. It's done. So I saw that, like, a few days ago, and now it's done. It's yeah. done, and I don't even know if it's, like, because they want to end it or because it's just on its last well, legs. Well, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> unannounced if it's going anywhere. Like, it's done at Disneyland, and, like, it's... It remains to be seen if it's going to be used anywhere ever again. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was great, but I like this kind of stuff more. Yeah. Like, well, this, that's relevant now, right? Like, right. It's, it's more impressive. Like, a, a turtle with a couple of light bulbs on it, it doesn't exactly scream 2017, <laughs> right. you know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, it's cool, but, like, yeah, this is going to be, I think it's going to be Was really it your cool. first time seeing Main Street Electrical Parade? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's really interesting then. Yeah, yeah that's my first time How seeing it. How did it strike you? Were you just like, oh, you're this like, is history? Okay. Or were you like, oh, this is beautiful? Or like, what? I mean, I thought it was history. Like, you could tell it was older, you know? And, like, mm -hmm. with the turtles and, like, the constant bumblebees going by, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. They were, it's like, like <laughs> spinning around, yeah, like, going, doing the most. I was like, that's cool. Doing but the most. It's like going to downtown Las Vegas. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, those people who make their costumes and stuff. <laughs> like, I kind of thought that. But, like, whenever the characters were going by or, like, the train or, um, like the the pirate ship with like Peter mm -hmm. Pan and Hook. I thought it was all cool, but I think with this, mm -hmm. it's gonna be more, um, <gasps> yeah. So it's like not little lights making a big picture, it's like that is the big picture. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's gonna be cool, but you said this is 2018 that it's gonna come back out. So what's gonna happen in the meantime? So, yeah, okay, so Paint the Night premiered in 2015 and it lasted for like 18 months and then it left and Main Street Electrical Parade started up and then What's going to happen is there's a day parade in California Adventure right now called Pixar Play. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. It's coming to Disneyland. Really? Because they're doing like a limited time Pixar Fest event um, where like there's going to be Pixar fireworks and like um, so they're bringing Pixar Play to Disneyland mm. and putting Paint the Night in Disney California Adventure. Really? Yeah. Um, I think it's just to have like Pixar everywhere. It doesn't I to mean, kind of maybe spread it's it like evenly, why, like we're why the same. Not yeah. just paint the night back at Disneyland, but um, anyway. So yeah, that's. What's well, happening. well, I feel like DCA needs like another one of those premier. Yeah, I mean, I think they're trying to pull yeah. because Star Wars Land is going to be coming, and they're right. trying to like pull crowds like over to DCA. Also, this is probably not the whole reason, but Paint the Night is such a tall parade that they weren't able to have holiday garlands across mm. Main Street for the holiday season, which a lot of people were upset about. So, so now, hopefully, garlands will be back. Right. <laughs> there you go. All I got to do is just switcheroo there. Yeah. Um, okay, so Kendra says, didn't they just announce that PTN Paint is... the Night. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then Adventures of Mooch says, Shanghai Pirates looks beautiful. Yes. That's our friend Noah. Noah. Um... Adventures of Mooch is Noah. I didn't see anything about Paint the Night coming back in November. They announced at D23 that it's coming to California Adventure in like a year. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, unless it's like a limited that time thing coming is, back to Disneyland for the holidays. Yeah, that is the only parade that I waited for. Really? I doubt it's coming back in November because they will have the Halloween parade from like end of August oh, through October yeah, for, for Halloween parties only. Oh. I know. Sorry. Oh, I'll have to go. <laughs> but then they're going to be doing Christmas Fantasy, and they can run Christmas Fantasy and Paint the Night consecutively, but Christmas Fantasy can be a nighttime parade, so they don't need it. Interestingly enough, um, Sarah has that exact same dialogue with herself at home when no uh, one's around. Like, like that's, well, She just like mumbles like, that's not possible because of like, Disney Disneyland like, Christmas like, Parade. Like, Paint the Night's not even the, the garland. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know that meme? She's like that rocking one. in a corner. Yeah, yeah. with all the, with the all math. The math <laughs> thing, oh, yeah. I was like... Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that <is me. laughs> Somebody photoshopped that immediately. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so let's talk about, um, which was honestly, well, I'll tell you what I think after you guys answer. But okay. um, what did you guys think of this whole mission breakout instead of like Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a tough subject. You want to go there now? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll go there. We'll break out. Um, I loved it. It's so good. And then, and I was one of those people that... When they, you know, because there was a lot of hoopla yeah. around them removing Tower of Terror, and people were like, "No, this was history." I'm like, "No, it's not, it literally." Um, <laughs> and uh, and I was all about it. I'm like, "Yeah, get rid of it, get rid of it. It's really? not even Disney's property." Yeah, because like it's cool, but it doesn't to me. It doesn't like substantially hold up. I think it's an amazing attraction. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Well, first of all, Disney's paying a licensing fee for Twilight Zone. They don't even own Twilight Zone, so I get it from like a brand point of view." And also, Guardians is far bigger than Twilight. Twilight Zone's not even on the air. It hasn't been on the air since the '90s. Well, on, on the third reboot. It is. 
What, well, yeah, in syndication. Right. But there's no like new, and also it's on like old channels, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Guardians is now one of the biggest Disney properties out there simply because Marvel is one of the biggest Disney things out there. Well, yes, I guess that's an accurate statement. It is one of the biggest Disney things. And it made a lot of sense to me. And I was like, oh, this is a cool facelift and ultimately will lead into hopefully Marvel Land. And this makes perfect sense to me. And then we go on the ride. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Tower Who? I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Where did it go? Because it is amazing, in yeah. my opinion. But that's my thoughts, Sarah. What do you think? Um, I, I cared very little personally because okay. I don't – I never went on t- – I went on Tower, but I didn't – I hate it because I don't like dropping sensations. Really? Oh, yeah. my God. So, like, I don't enjoy the ride. So, like, I'm like, this isn't a ride I go on, so I don't really care. I understand why people were upset mm. because Tower of Terror is a great attraction. It um, is. I'm not taking that away from right. you. Right. Yeah. Um, like, I think – I saw both sides. You know, people are like, it's better in Florida anyway. Um, Like, the one at DCA had only been around for, like, 12 years. Like, you can't really call that a classic. I get it. Um, Like, I understand why people were upset because, like, the Hollywood Land theme, Guardians doesn't currently fit with that. So right now it's, like, in a weird transition period where it's, like, Hollywood Land with, like, Tibon's collection. (laughs) Right. But I looked at it as, like, hopefully there is a Marvel Land in the future and this is building towards it. Um. Like, you know, would we rather them shut down, like, a whole area of the park, like, for a long time and have it all happen at once? Or would we have it, like, rather slowly. keep things open and, like, have things slowly added? I'm not sure. That's, like, up for debate. But um, I just cared very little, personally. Okay. Saw both sides. I And then I was, like, pissed that I had to go on Guardians. Because, like, I have to try everything right, once. And I was on. like, oh, my God. Like, I already... Went through this for Tower. I went on it. It was super fun. Yes. Would but, you do it again? Uh, no, no, probably no. not. She oh just doesn't God. like thrills. I get it. It's I could have gone on it again immediately after, but like any like significant amount yeah. of time, we went on four times. In a row my anxiety gets like out of That's control. Awesome. And we had a private car, and she didn't take advantage. Like the most sought after ride right I now. I did it with the private car. Yeah, but we did it. I know multiple. you did it again. Kept... So you got like a you got to do. We it, were like, doing private. like a yeah. like a we were doing like a tour during VidCon where we mm-hmm. had like a, a tour guide. We work with Disney Digital Network, which yeah. is their YouTube network. Yeah. So That's awesome. that yeah, I was like okay, because I don't have to like have the anticipation of waiting in line. Like I can just do it just and get, like, on get it, it over yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. I I honestly was so upset when I found out. I that, gathered that, you were. <laughs> I was like distraught. Like I went I went back with my friends and like everyone was like. We don't like drops. We're not going to do it. I'm like, I'll wait by myself if I have to because this is my last chance to ride it here. And so the one in Florida is bigger. It feels like more drops. It's better and it's more impressive because you go into the ride. Yeah, you move around. You move into the ride and then you go. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like upset and everything. But then I just went for the first time like last week to do it. And so Mm -hmm. I was so excited. Like, because there's, first of all, there's so many more drops. And like. Guardians. Yeah. Yeah. And then like they just like shoot you up. Yeah. It's much more about the up. Yeah. Than it is about the down. And so I thought that the way that they Im- immersed you in there, and then when they would open the doors and there would be those big screens, it was crazy. It was crazy. So it was and like, the raccoon part, uh, the rocket raccoon, yeah. when he's like talking to you. <sighs> the whole thing was incredible. And I, th- I, th- I was so much more impressed with it. So I'm like, okay, change is not always bad. Yeah. Right. And I was excited about it. And I thought that it, I thought, I mean, that's my new favorite ride. So, Bam, wow, yeah. that's that's a big statement. Yeah. I gener- oh no, I was just going to say, it, it's just one of those things Disney fans love to resist change. Yeah, yeah I, I generally think that I'd rather the parks have very different attractions from each other because, like, when I go to a different Disney park, like, I want to try the things that they have that we don't have. Right. So it's cool to have, like, Tower in Florida, Guardians Breakout in California Adventure. I wonder if they'll ever, like, change the other we'll one. We'll see. Someone made a <laughs> I'm post. imagining that they must. Yeah, someone made a post where they had, like, the hat from Guardians, and, like, the, like two days later they went to the one in Florida, and they had, like, the hat. Like, and right. took a photo, and they said, Oh, wait, that was Patrick, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. That might and have been our like, friend. You're next. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was yeah. totally Patrick. That Everyone was, was so was... mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's on our channel. Oh, that's us. so funny. He was like, Should I do this? I was like, Do it. Do it. <laughs> it so, I saw in the comments there were so many people who were like, No. How like, dare you? How dare you? Yeah. 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 Sometimes we like to ruffle feathers for the sake of ruffling yeah. feathers. That's so funny that that was your friend. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so um, let's see. So, have you guys ever gotten to stay in like the Cinderella Castle suite? Uh, no, uh, on my most recent trip to Disney World, we got to tour it, which was crazy. Oh, that's cool. Um, we have a video coming out from it, um, yeah, sometime in September. Um, and then when I did the Disney College program, yeah. and when I was in the college program, they do tours of the one at Disneyland. Um, so I've been in both, oh, never stayed. It, yeah, it's not in the castle. Oh. Um, it's above Pirates. 
Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was uh, it was originally intended to be Walt's second apartment inside Disneyland because um, he has a, an apartment above the fire station. Right. But it's a it's basically a studio. Like it is one room and then like a bathroom. Mm. And so the one above Pirates, he like planned it out. Um, and it didn't happen before he died, unfortunately. But he planned it as like a family apartment with multiple Aww. rooms mm-hmm. and stuff. And um, they finished it much later like after he died they were like whatever and then in like 2008 they were like all right let's finish it for like um posterity's sake wait was it was it for the was it for the 50th i don't remember yeah or was it the year of a million dreams i don't remember if it was uh, 2005 or no it was a dream one because they were allowing people they were giving to stay it away oh, yeah. Okay. yeah 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 that's funny random thing whenever i was visiting whenever i was 10 i guess nine and a half years ago visiting the one in florida i was like pulled aside and like they're like we got something special for you and i was thinking like oh my gosh like i'm gonna stay in the cinderella castle <laughs> and they were like and wow, they you were, really went you i went right, right there, there. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like we had this hat for you and it was like the the one that was like the clouds and like yeah, the, you're that's really not what i wanted but i was still excited <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but i was just like cool like am i gonna flip the hat over and there's gonna be like you a, get to stay in the admission and yeah <laughs> but, well, yeah they make that big a deal about stickers too like we've got something very special here's a sticker oh boy sticker with Mickey Mouse look at you yeah That's enjoy amazing. your magical day <laughs> okay so let's talk about Disney bounding because this is Ooh. something that I just recently discovered yeah 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 um, and we have some photos so let's let's show the photos and then you can explain it sure so we Let have me explain. the Wreck-It Ralph one yes, yes this is us from Dapper Day that's um, exciting. You know about Dapper Day? Yeah. Right. So if you are watching and you don't know, it's a day where everyone kind of dresses vintage or more dressed up to the parks. And so we did Dapper Day Disney Bounds as Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope. Leo's Vanellope. But I'm Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. That's so so cool. Disney bounding, as you might guess from the photo, is when you wear outfits that are reminiscent of a Disney character using color blocking and accessories. So it's not a costume because you're not wearing wigs. You're not using right. props. Um, the goal is not to look exactly like a Disney character. It's to evoke the idea of a character right. through your fashion. The, yeah, just the, the, st- the stylistic sort of uh, transmutation of that yeah. character. Yeah. And the fact that you guys switched, it would be called like gender bend. Gender bend, right? yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just learned that term the other day. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Um, and then this one is my personal favorite. Yeah, Another I love gender this bend, one. by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so we did this one in uh, Orlando. Mm-hmm. As you can see, we're outside the seas. Um, we were like trying to plan different bounds for like each day and each park and stuff. And I found that cardigan, and I couldn't believe it. That's amazing. I would just like to point out that um, uh, I found the cardigan. Right, we were shopping together. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we were shopping 21. together, and I was like, "This is made for a Disney bound." And I was like, "Bap." <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's like perfect Nemo and Dory. Like, that's isn't so, it? Thanks. That's so cool. Thank and you. like, whenever you're walking around, like, do you get a lot of people saying, "Oh my gosh, you guys are." Yeah, the yeah, community, yeah. that's the fun of the, the like, yeah. yeah, like, if you know about Disney bounding, then, like, you'll be more inclined to, like, just be like, I love your Disney bound. Like, we yeah. do that all the time, and, like, and, yeah, there's a lot of, like, meetups. I, I sent I you a picture, doing. actually. Yeah, yeah the meetup. next photo is a meetup. This was the, they can't even have meetups anymore, really, yeah, because got, they're, they they're big. this big. This was the last one, and, like, it's, a, yeah. like, a... Aww. hazard to have that many people in one place yeah. at one time yeah it's you eight, can't even see us we're like somewhere people. like in the like fourth row back there are a few people who are like like totally full-on wearing princess dresses though for That's sure it's more yeah like it's, it yeah. started beca- yeah we dapper call it, call it, call it gets a little bit complicated because people are wearing dresses and so like it just it goes a little bit too far sometimes yeah. on yeah. dapper day because it's because just, it's like, about vintage, like blah, yeah, blah, vintage blah. and also just sort of like you know, fun outfits, but what, you know, a fun outfit is also a dress. Right. And so it kind of blurs the lines a little bit, and there's a lot of needless back and forth on the internet of people yelling at each other over this sort of thing. started by me. I will take credit. Like, I made a video about, like, why you shouldn't wear costumes to Disneyland because it's against the rules, and it has, like, half a million views at this point, and I'm just And the problem is that, Oh, he's circling Leo. (laughs) What, you found me? Oh, yeah, that's me. That's my eyebrows. Yeah. The, the problem is the problem with it is that then kids think you are the princess, right? You know, yeah. and a lot of people act like they are the princess, and you shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's right. not your that's job. That's not your job, and for you know, it, like it's not the authentic right. thing that Disney's presenting. Right. You know, so and then they can't it's, control it. Yeah, the Disney can't control what you say and do. Like so. there's a video. It was like a BuzzFeed video or some, or no, it just went viral. Some guy who dressed like Peter Pan yeah, and went to the Disney Orlando World, park yeah. and was being a complete jerk. Like, yeah. like on pranking purpose. people yeah. on purpose, like being like rude and lewd and just like horrible things, like oh. like not even funny. Yeah. It wasn't even funny. And he was doing it to kids. He was doing it to families. And it's like, 
that's you know Disney yeah. doesn't want people running around no. doing that kind of stuff because they give them a bad name. And I bet these kids were crushed, like, oh my gosh, like, like Peter why Pan Peter Pan's such a me. dick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I do want to say there is someone out there right now. I want to give her a shout out because she's sending me a couple of shirts. Um, but she is really into the whole Disney bounty thing and also creating shirts and skirts that are uh, like have mm -hmm. characters on them. She hand paints them, which is incredible. So check out at Disney Simplicity on Instagram. She hand paints them and um, she does like babies through adults like clothing. Mm -hmm. And she, they, the paint is long lasting, machine washable, thanks to her grandma's passed down recipe, which I think is really cool. <laughs> and uh, so she can paint any Disney character, attraction, ride, food, anything that inspires you. And she has a buy one, take one sale right now and through Sunday night. So hurry up, get it before it um, just goes back to the regular um, one and done. And so you can either DM her or email her at DisneySimplicity at Yahoo.com to give her your ideas and you guys can collaborate, find what you love, and then she will hand paint it. I think that's so cool. Like, yeah, I, she's I just, made us some she's shirts She's made us some stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. I, I love it though because it's like, um, like hand painting, it's like people don't do that anymore. So when right. I, I literally ran across her page last night and I was like, what the heck? Super mm -hmm. talented. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it takes well, a lot of talent. I was going to say there's just like this huge community of Disney like you know, arts and crafts creators on the internet that make custom ears or custom shoes, shoes is a big one. Um, and, you know, that's that's sort of like the fun of this whole movement right now yeah. is that everybody's sort of, you know, collaborating with everyone else. They're being expressing their creati creativity in their own unique ways, like, you know, like Disney Simplicity. Um, and it's just fun to see. And Disney bounding is a big part of that. It's sort of a central focus of it a lot of times yeah. because a lot of these little skill sets apply to creating those outfits. Yeah. You know, so it's really, it's really unique. It's really fun. Yeah. One of them that I'm getting is like, it's a little uh, like chip the teacup. It's called like a pocket pal. Mm. And so oh, nice. he's like peeking out the pocket and on the back, it's got like a red rose and like tea bubbles. How cute. So That's I'm awesome. I'm super excited because I played Chip. That was my first acting role as a kid. I played really? Chip the Teacup in my, oh. in my old high school. So <laughs> that was super cool. We got to let Bradley know. Yeah. And then the other one I'm getting is like a goofy, it's going to have like goofy on it and it's going to say goofy Sky School because I love that ride. It's so, oh my God, it scares I, me so I, much. It's so scary. Broken neck the ride. I'm like, right? oh, we're going to go flying off the edge of this coaster. You know what Gosh. it reminds me of though? It reminds me of the one in Florida, like the Dynomatic ride yeah. or something. Like the Dynomatic is bigger, but like whenever just like, like goes around that corner, you think you're gonna what? like, yeah, fall. It's like, how are we staying on? Right? Yeah. It's Develop crazy. those neck muscles. And then before we get into thing in the vlogs, I want to talk about. Have you guys obviously probably most likely done the Frozen Ever After ride? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you? Isn't that the yeah in, in uh, Epcot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I went on it with you, but I, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, I don't recall. Literally the time <laughs> you went on it, I went on it. I remember now. <laughs> okay, so that that ride. <laughs> I'm I'm a fan of Frozen. Like, okay, sure. that's amazing, you know. Um, but like, I was not expecting me to like literally be singing at the top of my lungs. Oh yeah. As you know, like the, my favorite part is whenever she's Elsa's there, and then you fall backwards yeah. as the ice castle is like following you, and, like, yeah. and she's like, bye. She's like, I see got it. chill bumps. I was <laughs> yeah. singing. Chill I was bumps. like having a moment. Like, yeah, yeah, what yeah, did yeah. you guys think of that ride? That ride's crazy. The animatronics on it are like are amazing. Unreal. Um, especially the one like the humans look great, but like I feel like the like the the plus of being like a snowman and like Sven looking so great because like they just look like cartoons yeah, in yeah, real life. Yeah. And um, Olaf the way he skates around and stuff. Yeah, yeah no, it's a really good attraction. Like it's I was really, least. I was like weirdly sad about Maelstrom leaving, mm. but like I was like, this is fine. Wait, what, Maelstrom? what left? Maelstrom. Maelstrom. It was like, a, it was like that. you go and you, like, were you see Vikings. A, yeah, you see, and you see and trolls. trolls. Interesting. I don't and know they yell at you one. in in Icelandic. Oh, yeah. okay. It's like I don't think I did that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it was like every, a lot of people loved it because it was just so weird. It made yeah. like almost no. And you end the ride in the oil, like the oil uh, Refinery. refineries yeah. in the middle of the ocean because it's, it's weird. supposed to be like the history and yeah. the lore of Iceland. But Norway. It, or excuse me, of Norway, and it makes like no sense. Yeah. Uh, from any perspective other than that yeah. but it's just like so jumbled it's like saying like let me tell you about the history of the united states and then it has like the pilgrims and then cowboys and then uh what's something uniquely american that like some story some lore that makes like you know like yeah. paul bunyan yeah just, so randomly. just like randomly and then you and then yeah exactly and then you end the trip in like you know the empire state building it's like what, what? none of this Wait stuff a makes minute. yeah it yeah. doesn't all really tie in a ride that i missed it wasn't i don't know if it was a ride or a walkthrough but coca-cola had like this big like ice structure thing that you could go through and it was like made of ice and everything inside was made of ice and it was in the one in florida oh, sorry, um, I'm at, like, I have no idea. <laughs> at epcot i believe and and like you literally 
rode through this little tram thing in this big ice thing. It was crazy. Like yeah. literally a block of ice that you would go through. I don't know how they There's kept it alive, you know, in, in Disney for sure. In the heat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But anyway, um, let's talk about thingamavlogs, because this is something that I thought was really neat. And um, for those who don't know, let them know what's what going on. What is it? Yeah, what is it? What is it, sir? Thingamavlogs is our collaborative Disney-inspired YouTube channel that we have with two of our friends, Tiffany and Patrick. Yeah. And um, it started with us doing videos every weekday, which was a lot. Mm. We did it for, like, almost two years. Yeah. Um, and, like, it was that was our goal because it was, like, Disney content every day. So like, every day for like five days a week? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. For a while. <laughs> I'm like, dang. Exactly. <laughs> and then we recently uh, moved to just one day a week because like we, in order to keep it going, basically we had to do that. Yeah. It was um, just, uh, it was just, just like, we would burn ourselves out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's everything Disney. It's like we do Disney tips. We do Disney history. We do Disney parody songs. Disney we do meeting Disney characters. Yeah, Disney skits, Disney music, That's Disney covers. Food videos, everything. vlog videos, food um, videos. Yes, it's great because there's four of us. We're all very different. We have different interests. V- very um, different. Very different interests, and we so we like all bring like our different mm-hmm. styles and interests to the channel, yeah. and we're all like genuinely like best friends. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. me and Leo. We're together. Like obviously, obviously we like each other. But Tiff and Patrick, um, we're it's family. You know. <laughs> yeah. What I mean? Um, so it's just that's what it is. Yeah. It's just four friends loving Making Disney. Yeah. Each one, yeah. We make videos. We like not, uh, you know, just like, like she said, we have our own styles. But it's interesting how each one of our passion like encompasses a different area of Disney. Like for example, Patrick is really into the musicals. Mm. He really loves Smoke like Disney stage Broadway. and Broadway. Yeah. He's very into and, and the, he's very into the Orlando the, parks. He's really into the parks, but Orlando parks specifically. Really? Yeah. Where Sarah is like much more like history focused, mm-hmm. you know, and Tiff is much more about experientially focused. Like she knows all the details. She travels all the parks. She's in the world. gone to all the international yeah. parks. Wow. Yeah, and I definitely lean heavier in the like the nostalgia mm-hmm. of like like Disney afternoon, and I'm a big Marvel and Star Wars guy. Mm-hmm. So like. Each one of us kind of approaches it with our own unique uh, perspective, and then you get to see all of it on the channel, which is kind That's of fun. Cool. So, do you ever like when you go to a park, be like, okay, today is your day, so we're all gonna like yes. follow you around? Oh, and, we like, do it all the time. Know? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just like we we kind of we all plan help it, each other out with but, our yeah. videos. Like, like like the last one we yeah, did last, my, last week was my video, and I did. Um, uh, things annual pass holders. Do. Oh my gosh, I saw that. That you was so that? funny. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. That was amazing. Um, so like I was filming and I was like, we really need like other people. Patrick, can you come down and like be in it with me? And, our and then friend we follow Aldi, friend Aldi, like, always helps. who's like he's like a you know he's he's like the fam like yeah. thing of thing of my fam. <laughs> and um, and yeah, they they meet up, we film the thing, and then we put it up, you know, and we're in each other's videos all the time. That's we help each great. other shoot them. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's I think my favorite part was whenever like you want to go to Matterhorn, be like, well, Peter Pan will walk by for three point three minutes. Yeah. I think I need to make a part too because that was like so successful i mean yeah. it went like he, he like exploded it's at like six hundred thousand views in a week wow. on facebook yeah. yeah that's crazy Insane. and like the one where you like obviously like take the photo of like yeah the, i need a balloon can i, I get a balloon yeah exactly <laughs> that's so it's that was, so stereotypical yeah. that everyone's always like with their food before they eat yeah. it like it yeah. could be like a platter of like the chicken nuggets from like the and you're like rock focus yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah it's so funny because like i was trying to i was totally trying to trying to channel my friend francis dominic who's like the master of Disneyland photos. God, he's so good. His Instagram account is just the most aesthetically pleasing photos of Disneyland you've ever seen. (laughs) But that's what he does. He like hunts the perfect angles down. And I was like, man, that's so funny because we all totally do that. It's yeah. such a thing. That's really cool. That's awesome. And so you said, like, obviously your favorite Disney movie, right? Is the Who <laughs> movie? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, Disney movie? Yeah. Aladdin. Aladdin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Those are two very big classics. I'm going. I don't know if you're going tonight, but tonight I'm going to the. I'm El going Capitan. tonight too. Oh my gosh! Yes. I'll see you there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you going? No. He, I got oh. him a ticket, but then he had other plans. That's yeah. I, I didn't oh, know. Yeah. I didn't know it was tonight. Tonight I'm streaming with Geek and Sundry. So yeah. I'm unfortunately. Are you wearing a costume? Yeah. I'm wearing. Okay. I'm so I wanted Max. To, right. Exactly. <laughs> I I wanted to try to dress up as Max, but I think what I'm to do is I have like these goofy socks and then I just found like the power line shirt with the tour dates on the back oh, yeah, and a hot yeah, topic. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna do that and like wear a goofy hat and like wear my goofy uh, magic band and like you know go all out. But I wanted to like that to be my first Disney bound but like I don't know like I don't have a lot of stuff yet but yeah it's hard to you're like you're almost in a Tower of Terror Disney bound right now. That's true that's true. I, just, I, almost, I almost got that little hat when I was in Florida yeah, like my yeah, little yeah. bellhop Bell hat. Hop that would have been cool. Um, yeah, tonight's the, if you're yeah tonight's the only night they're doing a costume contest, so I had to pull something together. Yeah, I'm we, not wearing Lester. They won't. Uh, you should. Sadly, have. they, they, they have no masks you. allowed, and also I couldn't fit him in a seat. That's I full true. on asked them. I was like, "Do you want me to come?" They were like, "No, it's okay." Um, <laughs> <laughs> you asked them like, "Do you want me to come in my?" It's almost a shame, yeah. right? Um, but I do have a costume ready. It's kind of a Disney bound, but like 
It's just what the person. Well, is wearing, like you so could like, argue that Max is like if you dress as Max, you're also costume. in Disney bound. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I was thinking, okay, like if I get like a, a red hoodie, red hoodie, you know, jeans. jeans, black shoes, and then I could like maybe make my hair a little messed up. Yeah. But um, but so Max is supposed to be there tonight, like yeah. and, which he's kind of more of a retired Disney yes. character. So I'm like thinking, okay, what time do I need to be there in order to get a photo with Max? Yeah. But um, this That's is my first point. time going to El Capitan. I've never gone before. Oh, really? Love it. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. You're gonna it's love it. It's a fun it. experience. And like, are we going to place bets on whether or not Bill Farmer is going to show up tonight? Oh, my God. I no, uh, he can't. No? He talked about it at, no. uh, at Oh, yeah, Disney he did. Afternoon. Yeah, we, we were at this D23 event, Aww. and he was like, they didn't tell me when they were doing it. <laughs> That's so sad because like, it says, and surprises. So I like figured for yeah. sure he would uh, uh, Jim Cummings will probably be there. Who really? plays Max? No, he does um, Pete. Pete. Oh, he might, okay. I don't know if he'll be there. I mean, I, think, cool. I, I bet like, you he will be. I feel like they're probably just going to do giveaways. Okay. I feel like they'll give away prizes. Like maybe do trivia or something. And I heard that they have like um, like popcorn tubs like themed, mm, which yeah. would be cool. Which and there's I was an organist. Like, and... I was like, oh man, I didn't even get the VIP one. I should have gotten it, so I could have gotten the, yeah. the popcorn tub. But I, I so think excited. I think the there's at least talk. the popcorn tub. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably going to be at least one person from the movie there, I would hope. I think I that'd hope be cool. So. Probably. Um, I was hoping that Bill Farmer and I don't know his name, but the guy who plays Max Jason Mar- Jason would Mar- show up and sing on the open road like they oh did. Oh my god, it. We, were, we were there. You were there. Yeah. Well, I had just interviewed Bill Farmer a couple days before that. And he was like, you have to go to my Goofy movie. Like, you have to be there. No I was already. What. Don't miss it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, don't worry. It's my girlfriend's favorite movie. Like, chill. And yeah. then they did that whole Powerline performance and they did Open Road. And it was just, yeah. part of history right I'm there. hoping he just, like, drops by and, like, cancels his trip or whatever. Like, he's just like, <laughs> come well, on, Bill. Howdy. Like, I, I have to meet him. But um, he's such a cool guy. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So, also, you guys do a show here. Yes. Disney right. Movie News. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what time can everyone watch that each week? It's Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Awesome. Yep. yep. And you guys do that with Renee Ariel, which is one of that's my right. friends. And then oh, who else? Keaton, Keaton Markey. Markey. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Well, I am so glad you guys joined thank me. Thank you for having yeah, us. Like, I, really I was fun. like, if I could bring in two people to talk about Disney, I'm like, they already <laughs> work here. I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we literally filmed two studios uh, over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you again. And where can everyone find you on social media? Again, it's Thingamavlogs on YouTube. I know it's a mouthful. If you just get some of it right, it'll auto fill it for you. <laughs> um, Sarah Sterling underscore on Twitter, Sarah G Sterling on Instagram. And you can follow me at Mr. Leo Zombie on Instagram and at Leo Zombie on Twitter. All right, and you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. And uh, look out for tonight. I'm sure we're going to be posting some fun photos. So make sure you stay tuned, and we will see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Oh, yes. Sarah. Uh oh. Dance. We would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit popcorntalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners and principles.